Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm just here to do a quick review of the Tudor Pelagos 39 millimeter. It's actually pretty, pretty decent watch case. It's a nice, nice feel to it. It's a case, to be honest. Who cares, right? But it's pretty decent, actually. So here it is now. So the dimensions of this is 39, 39 millimeters in diameter, 47 millimeters lug to lug, and with a thickness of 11.8 millimeters, it's a uh, full titanium grade two. Um, it fits really well. It's got, uh, MT5400 Tudor movement, in-house movement, with, uh, 70 hours power reserve at, uh, 4 hertz. It's, uh, COSC certified, which means the accuracy per day is anywhere between minus 4 to plus 6 seconds a day. Uh, right now, I've pretty much been averaging uh, two, plus two seconds a day for a week when I've been keeping track of it. So it's grade two titanium. Uh, the color is actually really good. I like it's like a, like a dark gray, I guess. But uh, it's really nice. It's uh, 107 grams with all the links. But with my 6.75 inch wrist, I had to remove uh, three links. So it's going to be a little bit less than 107 grams. But uh, one of the things is, uh, I never knew it's my first titanium watch, is that uh, it scratches actually pretty easily. Which I'm pretty careful with my watches, but yeah, it scratches a little bit too easy for my liking, but... I like this watch overall way too much to really have it bother me too much. Uh, with this one, it's got the T-Fit clasp, which uh, is Tudor's new quick adjust system. So within this uh, clasp, you got eight millimeters of adjustment, which is actually pretty easy to use. So if you just pull pull down and then pull see so you got about eight millimeters of adjustment there which for me it's it's not too bad uh, and then you actually have a divers extension here which I'll never use uh -huh. not too sure I think this is actually the first time I've actually opened this up not really even too sure how to put that back in. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'll have to look into that, but it fits really well. And um, the dial and the bezel uh, is a uh, matte sunray finish. So just enough flashiness with this new, newer model. The old one is more uh, tool-like watch, but this one's got a little bit more bling to it but nothing definitely nothing too crazy just enough and what also i like about the bezel is that it actually has a ghosting effect so when um, it hits <clears throat> when it hits the light uh, when the light hits it it actually looks uh, like a matte gray so right now it's black but then in some when some of the light hits it it'll turn like a, a gray which is actually pretty darn nice uh, the only thing is the clasp is actually pretty, pretty big. So unfortunately, it doesn't really fit uh, my wrist in the middle of my wrist. So that's the only thing, but honestly, nothing, nothing major. Oh, okay. You can see me fiddle with it. Uh... Ah, there we go. So yeah, so 
figure that one out. Yeah, never really need it. It's not like I'm gonna go diving anyways. It's got 200 meters of uh, water resistance. So it's actually pretty good, but I won't, I won't ever, I won't ever need it. So I got lucky, my local uh, AD hooked me up. Uh, it's pretty hard watch to get. And he just called me one day out of the blue and said, hey, I have this watch here. If you're interested, come take a look. And then, yeah, you can have it if you want. But overall, yeah, it's a really good watch. The bezel app, actually, not sure if you can actually hear that, but the action is very clicky. It's it's just really nice and smooth. It's a 60 click bezel. So I prefer 120 click bezel, but 60 click is obviously good enough for me. But yeah, this is the Tudor Pelagos 39 millimeter. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's a pretty awesome watch. So thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the little things in life. Take care.